Hi and welcome to Prime Sports with Mashatsi. In this episode, we're hanging out with former Zimbabwean midfield strongman Willard Kitoko Makasi Bosoyamboka Katsande. He's going to be telling us about his journey that took him from Zimbabwe to Ayas Cape Town in Cape Town, to Kaiser Chiefs, and ultimately to Zikukuna United. My brother, thank you very much for agreeing to, to speak to us. Um, we felt that we, we must check with you. We want to sort of look back at your, at your career. Um, I was checking uh, your, your stuff and I've realized that it's very strange that not many people know that you played at the Cape Town, uh, at the Cape Town, uh, at Ice Cape Town. Um, how did you get to South Africa? Yeah, thank you for having me, Mr. Pashele. Um, I really appreciate to be in this show, and uh, it means a lot to me. Yeah, um, how I end up being in South Africa, you know, it's um, sometimes, you know, in, 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 in football, when you're growing up as a, as a, as a young footballer, your, your dream is short, yeah. to be known, to be famous in your city. So that was my goal when I was young. I just wanted to... Because I was inspired by the local local heroes who were playing in our like ABC Mutsepe kind of a league mm. in 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 in, in Manikal and Mtare. so I just said no, I just want to also play for these teams so that people are gonna come and watch in the stadium. So by so doing, you know, football when God says yes, you know, it's like nothing can stop you. Then I, I started in the local. Then boom, it it looks good. Uh, I end up playing even. Higher, higher level in, in my in my in my in my seat, mm. but which was uh, NFG. Then from there we got a promotion to PSL. That was my first time playing in PSL. So I managed to play PSL six months uh, in my in my hometown. Yeah. Then from there I, wa I was bought by a team in Harare, and we end up winning the league there. That that season, which was 2009, I, I moved to to Harare in 2009 mid season, mm. which was June. Then we went to play a Champions League early. Early, then he, yeah, they knocked us out, but we gave them a run for their money, mm. and uh, from there, that's when I realized, like you know, football is taking me a little bit far. Because when I moved to Harare, that's when I started buying, decide to build a house for 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 myself and for my family. Because I grew up in a shack, mm. and when my father died, he, ma he managed to 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 acquire a one bedroom flat, and you know, from a family of um, seven girls, one boy. One bedroom flight is as good as nothing, you know. But uh, we don't we don't blame. Sometimes, you know, food, I mean, life is always like that. It doesn't present you what you what you wish for. But mm. our kids, maybe they'll be better than us. So yeah. Um. But when I moved to Harare, that's when I said, okay, football is giving me life. Okay, this is this. Then from there, I start playing for national team. Then from there, my agent, uh, the late Ezekas now, may he so rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, he's the one because he had a, a, a name already here in South Africa. He's the one came to me and says, I need to take you to, to, to South Africa. Actually, he came when I was still playing for my uh, team from my city in Mutare. We were playing in Harare, we were playing versus Cape United. Then he just came like, he's looking for captain. But you know, because I'm, I was a, a, a kid who was at the back, who, who didn't think like, a lot of people can recognize me, especially from another, another city, that okay, this is a good cause. You know, when you're growing up, there are people who are better than you, who can also, when they come to ask about the team, their first preference of people like, oh, there's ban, 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 ban. But in this case, he just came and said, no, he's looking for a captain. Then the captain is, um, then they, they presented the original captain for the team. Then he said, no, we want the one uh, finish as a captain. Then I went and see him. Then he said, I want to bring you to Harare. I want you to, to take you to South Africa. You know, but I thought, ah, okay, maybe. It's just thing because I just had a good game, whatever, I don't know. 
Then I moved to Harare. That's when he says he wants to take me to, to trials. That's when here in South Africa, the World Cup just get finished. Mm. Then he, Super Sport were looking for, for, for midfielder. But he never told me that he's a defensive midfielder. And then I came to Super Sport for trial. I think I, I had a one-week one trial. Mm. But they were busy in Champions League, so the, the coach couldn't see much. Coach was busy? Uh, coach was uh, Gavin Hunt. Gavin Hunt, yeah. Yeah, but that's when they were start, uh, co they completed the third league mm. in a row. Mm. Then he just said, okay, we'll make a decision. We'll call you when you want you. Then I left and went back home. And from there, two weeks later, the Casanova came and said, I asked one day, <coughs> a midfield again. Then I was doubting, like, no, should I go? For that stress, you know, when you are, I, I don't want to lie, when you are on a, on a trial, it's not a good feeling, especially in a, in a foreign land, yeah. and you don't know the culture, you don't know the people, you know, they don't know the language, so you feel the, the out of place, it's unlike today, whereby the technology has improved mm. from 10 years back, mm. you know, so, I just, I just, can I go, I will use, I, I dodged three, four days, you know, to come, then later I said, okay, he came to to the house and says, I'm not leaving here, the ticket, the ticket is here, let's go. Then I, that's, uh, that's how I went to IX, then fortunately it was successful. Uh, imagine if I say I don't want to go yet, yeah. that's where my, my door was. Mm. Then I went there to IX, unfortunately things, things didn't work well at IX because uh, my permit took time to come out. Yeah. So it came out in November and the, the team was already doing well and that season we finished as runners up mm -hmm. so by the time the payment came out uh, the team was already doing well and the, the coach was sticking to <coughs> sorry the coach was st sticking to the to the, the, the team was playing was which was winning well, yeah. so obviously you know as, as a pro as much as you want to play you have to to respect the decision then from there that's why many people didn't know that I played for Ajax because mm -hmm. most of the time I was on the bench. Mm -hmm. Then by the time the, we finished the season, the coach who, who signed me, he retired, he went back to Holland. Mm -hmm. Then from there, the coach came uh, from MDC. He just said, no, you know, that you don't want to exhaust the foreign sport. I don't think you're going to bend the plans. And it was pre-season in August, and I was called for national team. Mm. Then I, he says, we'll talk when you come back from national team. Then I went to national team with other guys, Kama and them. Then we arrived at the national team. We played the match against Zambia. I played well. I was playing with Ningo Masha in the middle. And I played well, and we were combining very well, me and him. So coincidentally, Bobby was there watching the game. He was there watching Zosia. Then Zosia was already... He, had a, 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 a trial, so they just wanted yes. to watch him on higher Some level, more, yeah. which is international. Then they asked uh, people like, who is this guy, Bobby? Because they didn't know me, <laughs> yeah, for sure, in South Africa. And the last game I played uh, uh, against, uh, I mean, the last game I played for Ajax, I was against Chiefs, I got substituted in first half. Yeah. <laughs> Things were bad, you know? So <laughs> this, uh, then they said, I know, this guy is actually on a free transfer from Ajax. Then we, we dump into each other in the Ravai. He says, hey, Baba, I want to bring you to Jobek. Uh. Uh, I want to bring you to Jobek. Here we work, you know, to play. I said, oh, okay, no, I'm coming. They said, uh, then I said, okay, it's fine. Then I thought, ah, it's brushing me off, you know, that kind of thing, because people are watching the game. Then he, my agent came to me, like, says, tomorrow, the next day I arrived, says, pick your bags. The, the, the night I arrived in Cape Town, I was coming from Zim. He says, pick your bags tomorrow, you what? You're going to job mm -hmm. to Chiefs. Then I came to Chiefs. When I arrived to Chiefs, things were, were slow mm -hmm. and they were tough. And my first game was against Pirates and FNB. And there's a cup final versus, um, I mean, MTN cup final yeah. versus Pirates. Because just to, to cut you, I think it's very interesting that actually your first match for Kaiser Chiefs was a cup final. Yeah. In MTN my, cup final. Yeah, in my last. Uh, Came for Kaiser Chiefs was a cup final. <laughs> the Champions League final. Champions yeah. League final. So it was a final and final. So that's how I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful yeah. for football. Yeah. Because if you are working in, a, in an institution like Kaiser Chiefs, starting with the final, finish with the final, it's, it's huge. For me, I don't need to sit here and say Sauk and whatever. One thing I'm, I'm going to say is I'm very, very grateful. Because mm. 
to have 10 years under, under and a big team like that, it's not easy, especially with the pressure that comes with it. Yeah. So, it is so when I play my first game, it's like maybe the stadium management switched off the lights for me. I didn't, couldn't see anything. I couldn't well, see anything. Was scared, the... I was scared. And the stadium was full, 97,000. It's my first time, a poor boy from Zim Mutari, just playing in front of 97,000, not talking about millions at home. So, it was bad. Eh? It was a nightmare for me. Then from there, we, we lost. We went to, to Cape Town to play Ajax. Um, Ajax, Ajax Cape Town midweek. And weekend was a Pirates again. Now it's league. Hey, bruh. It, Ajax, I was, the stadium was full again. I'm still finding it difficult. Like playing in a full stadium. And at Ajax, it was different. Then... We, we, I think we, we, we drew the Ajax match, then we, f we flew back to Jobe for this Pirates match. Then another thing, the, the midfielder, like Ibalo, got injured, I think, in 23 minutes. Yeah. Uh, the coach just put me in without even doing warm up. Yeah, first it, so to them. It, it was a nightmare again. So, big to big games for me is Pirates, you know. And it was, it was a nightmare. Those are the games I'm going to tell my kids when they understand the yeah. game. My grandkids, like, you know, that fixture. Yeah. That fixture is not a, it's, it's more than a game. It's a tough one. It's yeah. a more than, I'm telling for you at home, it's nice because you'll be sitting in a couch, You're drinking, enjoying. eating popcorn. Those who are in the field, it doesn't matter that you are used to that fixture. That fixture demands a lot. So it was bad mm. again. From there, I, I had uh, close to four, five, six months without playing. Because I did bad. I deserve what's coming my way. Then but how did you, you know, motivate yourself? I mean, when you, you come to a new club, three matches, mm -hmm. you don't do well, you know, you are benched or mm -hmm. you are even taken out of the team completely for yeah. a couple of months. How did you stay motivated? Because it must have been very difficult. Poverty. Yeah. Poverty. Poverty motivates me because I, I, I knew where I'm coming from. Yeah. Because... It's not easy to stay in a shack. It's not easy not to have school fees. It's not easy to go to school by barefoot. It's not easy to, to, to eat one meal a day. Mm -hmm. So it just told me like, you know what? It's okay, keep working. And uh, I, I managed to keep my circle very small. Yeah. Because I'm in this mess myself. The only thing I'm gonna take myself out of this mess is myself. If I start going partying, drinking, Mm. doing and uh, these, these frustration things i'm even losing even more because look i'm being paid to train by chiefs i'm being paid to, to train by chiefs to be played is coach's choice but i'm being paid for now to train i need to train proper i need to treat the game because the only thing i, I realize even when I, i'm a bit old and wiser now is like if you treat the game good the game will treat you good so for now i was young I will get away with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't sleep. I still go train well. But along the run, when you are 20, 29, 30, it catches us up. Yeah. Then the game doesn't want you. So I, when the game wants me, I also respect the game. So when now, when you are at your last years of your career, the game is like bypassing you. But the, but the game loves you because you respect the game. Mm -hmm. The game keeps you within mm -hmm. the group. Then you, that's why you see yourself around 35 years, 36 still playing. So I treated the game well, and the game treated me well. So I respected the game. That's why I feel like if I work hard and go back home and reflect what I do, and you sit down in your couch and look like I'm not going to camp because I'm camp. What are the people saying at home? Mm. What are my mother, my mother is saying at home? Yet she knows that I want employment. So those are the things you you put your guideline. Don't ignore the negativity. Don't yeah. ignore the positivity. Just find the common balance. Then you create your own analysis yourself. Then from there, when you work the next, uh, woke up in the next morning, you know that I need to be better than yesterday. Yeah. So it was it was tough. By the time I came back into the team, I was training well. Then the team selected 20 men squad. Then he, Captain Jimmy Toe was suspended. Then we had uh, the back four. Then he, the other guy got sick and we were about to go to the stadium. Me, I was on standby because I trained well. We, we were two. And I was two with a striker. Yeah. 
on standby. Then the coach Vivi, get me right, he was more like a, a, a Hitler. Mm. Like this or this. So he says to me, because I'm on standby, I already put my bag in the, in the, in the car so that I can just go yeah. up there. He says, you're playing right back. I never trained right back in my life. But there you are. Yeah, then I said, you know what? I told guys, like, guys, if you don't cover me, because we had Sue Sue, <laughs> we had Nengo Masha in the middle, we had Jambo, we had um, Zosia. Yeah. That was the back four, and I was the right back. And the Tinashe was number six. I said, guys, if you don't cover me, I'll look bad. I'm in trouble. I'll look bad. They covered me. Then 11 minutes, oh, one nil, we're losing. <laughs> he was, then it's okay. Then I said, you know what? Forget about everything. Let me enjoy. Whether tomorrow I play again, I don't know. But for today, I need to enjoy because this is my time to sweat. Then from there, it went to my favor. Like coach was telling Jumbo, the, the natural fullback, like, do what Katsande is doing. Because <laughs> I was still young, 23. Yeah. The energy is there. I was going up and down, up and down, up and down. Because I was playing with, with Coach Steve. Yeah. And Coach Steve... Sometimes you were so surprised, like really, right, big. Mm -hmm. Then from there, then I start coming into the into the picture again the because picture. everybody in the country says, "How oh, I many we and found our our, our our right big?" You know, say we found our right big. So from there, people said, "Okay, they wanna know more about me." You understand? Know more about me. Back, back then, when I got signed, like oh, I bought be signed a Benjo, Ma, Wara, Wara, Wara. One, so one, now, yes, now I'm showing them. From there, I played, I played, I played, I played, I played, I played. Then until the season ends, the new coach came. From there, he didn't play me earlier, uh, hiccup. But from there, I hit my ground running. I wake, 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 wake. I, I got a chance. Then from there, I played from that season till I left. Now, I just want to understand one thing. When you were going through uh, the challenges of when Kering came time and um, were they maybe who were some of the like the senior players in the team who used to to motivate you because on your own sometimes it can be difficult. People who would come to you and say, No, don't worry, boy, keep on working and, and stuff like that. I like, I like, I like, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, even before we we had the deadly combination in in in, in PSL, before I he I, I spoke to him because he's a guy I was watching from home, mm. he's a good player, you know. Then from there, you need to learn from the best, you know. So I spoke to him like, okay, I'm here. I don't know what he says to me. This environment doesn't uh, acquire patience. You have to hit the ground running as quickly as possible. You mm -hmm. have to be here now. So when you hear somebody like that, tried and tested, telling you about that, you listen and when you take the words, when you're alone in your own corner, you start, okay, mm. okay, it makes sense, it makes sense. So when the new coach came, Baxter, uh, I was not playing, coach was preferring certain uh, combination of which is good. Then I asked him, like, you know, coach, how do you want me to play? Is For you? Yeah, yeah also hold him, you're holding midfielder. Because at first, when he arrived, he says, I, this guy is a terrorist, <laughs> coach, because hey, I was chopping everything, you yeah, know? Yeah. Uh, you know, as a, as a young kid, you just energetic, just to, to play good as number six, you have to kick people, you know. So then he says, he was happy to hear that, okay, this boy is humbling himself to one another. And of which I went there in a good way, mm -hmm. by as a good student. Like, you know what, coach, I'm a good, good student. I want to learn how you want your, your, your whole midfield to play. And he said, okay, son, it's okay, sit down here. Then he started in the... Uh, feeding me information. I want you to do this. I want you to do this. And when you do that in training sessions, he comes and remind you, like, okay, you're mm -hmm. doing it. Now we need to go to another level. We need to, to do this. There's something lacking in this. Then we, we talk. Until now, he doesn't talk to me even if I do any because mistake. You know because processes. now I understand. Yeah. Then from there, there's a season I played, I think, 43 games. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, the, the energy is still allowing me. So for me, in this difficult situation, it's, it's an engagement. To people and people who are there to talk positive you know uh, if you find somebody who can help you in any way to say do this and do this and and allow yourself to know that I'm wrong at a certain 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 situations mm -hmm. how can I be better 
Because me, I might see myself as I'm right. But you see me as wrong. I'm doing A, B, C, D wrong. Mm. Then I come to you and say, what do you think? Then you tell me, I think here you're too fast. Here you're, too, you're doing it wrong, A, B, C, D. Okay, when I'm alone, I just say, okay. Let me not talk it in a, in a negative way. Let me mm. just say. It's constructive. Yes. Yes, let me say. Okay. Okay. Let me just try to change and see if it's going to work. Then you see that. That's, that's growth in life. So I think I engaged Ye. Ye spoke to me nicely and mm. he helped me very well. And uh, boom, it's, it worked well. Because, you know, sometimes if I had, I mean, pride, I wasn't going to ask. I said, ah, I know everything. So they will leave you. Because if you open up to people, they will accept you. Like, okay, he doesn't know, he wants to learn. So they will bring you in. But if you want to be like, ah, Minang Skog, they will leave you far. And you go in the drains alone. So they allow me, they, 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 they brought me in. And uh, another thing here which I want to find out from you, filling the shoes of Tinashe Nangomash. Uh, <laughs> must have been very, very big shoes to fill. I t it was, it, I don't know if I feel them. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Because, you know, when you're young, you, from Zim, those are our, we, we, our heroes. Mm. Those are our, our role models, whereby you model yourself towards them and say, okay, he's doing well in South Africa. Back then, it, there was no much activity in the DSTV, how we we're using to around the Africa, somebody can watch you live. Mm. It was more like kickoff magazines, you know. You see the pictures, okay, you create your own imagination, like, yeah. oh, this guy. Then you see him live in playing Zim, then okay, okay, okay. Then when you come here, then they say, oh, Nengumash has gone with Katsande, you look left and they're like, oh, can I do this? No, you no. can't. So it, it, it's, it was tough. I don't know if I feel it, it's up to, to the fans, to, 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 to judge, I cannot judge and say that I, I feel them, I don't know. But, but what I know is, I've done my part as mm. we like. Because mm. mm. you could see, 10 years, I, I pushed to 326 games. Mm. It means that I was, I was not um, on the bench, I was not on the sidelines, on the injury list. You were playing. Be, uh, consistently, because you're talking about about 38 plus games per season. Because you could see, like, okay, injuries are part of the game. Look at uh, maybe Itu Kune. Mm. He played, so far, he, he played what, 350. And you, you could trace his record when he joined the, the senior team. That one gives me a, 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 a happy, happy moment to say, no, you know what? I pushed very hard. Mm. I was very close to a guy who's been there for long, you know. For a long time, yeah. it's, it's, it's a plus to me. So for me, I'm just happy for me for being Katsande. It's up for people to, to judge to if judge, they yeah. see this is the best. But at the end of the day, I feel proud of myself, the contribution I've contributed to the game. I, I, I looked at your, your, your numbers at Kita Chiefs also. Something caught my attention here because you've played there for more than 10 years. Mm. And uh, you have only won four trophies, mm -hmm. two league titles, mm -hmm. M uh, MTN8, mm -hmm. and the Net Bank. Yeah. Um, do you, are, are you happy with, with that return? For me, with the, with the amount of work I put, I'm not happy. I'll be lying. I, then I, I wake up every day stuck in traffic, going to work to be competitive and you can see every, every, every game I played, you can see the passion, whether I'm having a good game or bad game, but you can see the passion, the commitment in me. So I feel like I should have added more trophies because if you could see in those 10 years, I've got many runners up uh, mm -hmm. medals. So it's not, it's not enough for me and uh, I look bigger than I, I should have done, but it's a team sport. And sometimes there are certain dynamics. Yeah. And remember, it's a competitive league. You're playing with uh, people who are competitive. So you could see that it was so close, but so far. Because yeah. with those main runners up we had, imagine if I turned them to be gold, gold, gold. I think maybe I'll be close to 10. Yeah. yeah. Now, also uh, on that, um, I'm sure probably there's a regret on your part on the fact that uh, you know, up until the Champions League final, which was your last match for the mm. 
the, the, the team had not won anything. Uh, probably is one of the things that has, has added to the fact that you win so many uh, 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 trophies with Kelsey. But mm. having been inside there, mm. you know, you're talking about dynamics. Mm. What, what were the challenges? Why did Chiefs spend so much time without winning anything? Um, for, talking from somebody who's been there, you know, uh, I need to, 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 to be honest, the players gave their all. Mm. I, trust me, you work hard every day. It, working under Kaiser Chiefs, it's very, very demanding. So I don't remember seeing any player going there, giving 30%. Mm. They always give their all. But sometimes they say success goes in circles. So when success visited your house, please try to keep it as much as you can. Yeah. Because when it goes, I don't know how, how long it's going to take for you to come. So it goes in a circle. If you could see, they started a super sport, going to Pirates, came to Chiefs, went to Sundown. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just that they're more jealous with it. That's why they're keeping it within. Mm -hmm. By the time it goes out of them, we don't know when are they going to get it again. So success goes in circles. So by the time it, it, the success is in your circle, dominate enjoy try to accumulate as much as you can because you don't know when it's gonna come back again mm -hmm. so i feel like we're unlucky we are the unlucky generation we buy. we give our all but it wasn't good enough mm -hmm. you could see even when we were so so closer but we were still far mm -hmm. getting to run up a uh, medal but to be inside talking from in, inside point of view we gave our all because I'm in mean, a position whereby I can be honest, mm -hmm. whereby if there was a good or bad. But uh, I don't want, I don't fault anyone. I just said it wasn't meant to be for that particular time. Yeah. But uh, ju we're just going to be grateful for the opportunity we get to work under the, the big, big badge. But uh, it is what it is. Life has to go on. Yeah. Things didn't work out. But the only thing is you gave your all. Mm -hmm. That's when you're going to sit down and say, okay. Those years, I will never won anything. You look at yourself in the mirror. Did I give my all? Mm. That answer is going to make peace with your, your heart. But if you didn't, you feel, uh, you, you live with the regret and the guilt uh, for the rest of your life because you were, you were a coward. But if you feel like I gave everything, mm. but it wasn't because it's, it's, it's a team sport. Mm. Now, you are, you are, you are departed from Chiefs, caught a lot of us by surprise. Um, you know, I know there were negotiations and all those mm. things, and then you know, all the focus was on, on the Champions League final, and uh, out of the blue, boom, Kazande is leaving his Chiefs. Um, mm -hmm. To some, uh, you know, it was heartbreaking, mm. uh, unexpected, and all those mm. kinds of things. Uh, but I saw that you handled it with a lot of maturity. Uh, you know, you did a video, and you mm. know, you've always, even now, you are speaking very well about Chiefs, but. Were you disappointed the way you left the club? But for me to say I was disappointed the way I left the club, that's being unselfish. Mm. Um, because this is life. It's a journey. You understand? Um, it's like we are all on this earth. Mm. At some point, I'll be the next to die yeah. on, on this earth. I'll be the next to die. So why, what I'm saying is like, this was my, my, my moment to go. I know a lot of people think, no, Katsandi was still going to be there for another season to, to help us stabilize, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, what I can just say is I was grateful for that opportunity I got from the Sherman. Coming from Zim, I was nobody. I left as a legend. Numbers don't lie. Mm -hmm. So for me to say that I was disappointed, not really, because at the end of the day, it's business. Mm -hmm. When it's business... I wasn't there 10 hours or 10 weeks. I was there 10 years. I came as a kid. I left as a, as, as a matured father. Yeah. So those 10 years, they taught me a lot in life in terms of how to conduct myself to, to everything, every situation. But what I can say is I dealt with the situation in a professional way, in a mature way. But to say that I was, was disappointed, that's, 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 that's not nice. Because remember, the way I left, there's also a kid Get the, the, get the opportunity to fill in start his journey to 10 years. So if I say, no, I was supposed to be there, what about the kid? Mm. We still have lo lots to offer to, 
to, to South African football, lots, lots to offer into the world, fo world of football. Bavana, Bavana, you understand, whichever uh, 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 national team is coming from, you understand. So that would be unfair for me to say that. One thing I'm just going to say is like, I just need to celebrate my decade. Yeah. I'm one of those elite guys who managed to get to 10 years. And um, 10 years and contributed towards the club. And now I, I'm holding the, 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 the record of saying the best, I mean, the foreigner with most, most appearances. Yeah. So for me, it's enough. It's, it's good for me to just look back and say, I, I should have, I should have. No, that one won't even move. Because even if you, if you cannot cry over the spilled milk, mm. it's not going to come back. All you can do is focus on here and the mm. future, which is tomorrow. And I move back. I bump into many, many supporters. I can send this, even messages on social media. I can send this, come, come, come. Then I said, I'm going to come back one day. Yeah. But it's a different role. Yeah. Because... I can, I'll be lying to say that I don't love Chiefs. Mm. Let's be honest. I'll be, I'll be lying. It's like you're telling you people that you don't love you, yeah. your wife. And yet you know that you love. You understand? Mm. Even if it doesn't have an eye, but he, you love it. Mm. So, because I spend lots of years there and yeah. the, 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 the bond, the connection is there. Strong. It's, it's very, very strong. So, I always tell them, you know what? I'm going to be back, but in a different role. Talking about going back in a different role, um, I know you have interest of coaching. Sure. Would you want to go back and coach Kaiser Chiefs one day? Hey, Mr. Mashase, I told you that <laughs> I need to go back. I need to go back to give back to to Kaiser Chiefs, give back to football, because to be where I am today is because of football. Mm -hmm. Without football, I wasn't going to be where I am today, and football, for everybody to know me in Africa, in South, Southern Africa, is because of Chiefs. And I need to go there and share my little experience to the younger ones. And uh, I need to aim higher. So when I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna go to senior team, you understand? When I get to senior team, I just need to contribute towards the game, because I sit down and analyze the game, and analyze myself, and feel like, you know what? I can do this, I can do that. So it goes with the passion, what I have in the end my heart. Because I've developed a, a thick skin whereby criticism, good or bad, I don't answer to that. It's your breakfast. It's my breakfast. So I can take it, but I just need to take the baby steps. Mm. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to coach it one day. Mm. Mm. As we move away from Kaiser Chiefs now, um, you are a seasoned uh, warriors, uh, warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> the Zimbabwe national team. Um, you, you, you have had your time. Uh, there's a new generation taking over now. We are in the middle of the World Cup qualifiers now, and you know we all know that uh, Zimbabwe has done very bad up to so far, and you know you, you cannot qualify for the World Cup anymore. Uh, with the crop of players that are there now, mm. uh, Mobukat and uh, the guys there. The play overseas and all mm. those kinds of things, Musuana and them. Why didn't they? Why have they performed so poorly? It's, you know, it pains me. I don't want to lie because you know, it took us long to to produce the, the crop of players we, we 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 have at the moment. And this group of players, they deserve better mm -hmm. in terms of competing the World Cup. Because that was the only thing left uh, with, with, with us because we have the quality. You could see left, right, center. Mm. We, we all around, we are, we are fine. It's just that maybe, because um, if you can see, we've been qualifying for AFCON, I think, three consecutive times. Mm. It tells you that we are. You actually kept in the mid. Yes, in 2017. Mm. So it tells you that we are not. We are, we are, we are a decent team to, to go f further than. What you've done to in, like now? What you've done is, it's not it's not good at all, mm. and it's unacceptable, especially to our people. Because you know, when they see us playing, doing well in our club level, they're expecting us to to do well in national team. The, because national team is the number one team in the yeah. country. They deserve to be happy, and we are the reason they need to be happy. And we need to take a responsibility because what we we did now, I cannot say what they did because. 
I'm part and parcel of them. Mm. Even if I'm not, if I'm not playing, but I'm part and parcel of them because I'm a Zimbabwean player. Mm. So, what we did now is unacceptable because we should have done better. Let's be honest. Mm. We should have done better, and um, it all goes down to everybody to take responsibility. Yeah. Don't point fingers to anybody. The whole setup needs to to man up and say, you know what? We raise our hand like, you know what? This was better. Mm. This was bad. You don't need to point like, no, these guys were not giving all this technical team was not giving all management, whatever. No, everybody was a disaster. And everybody needs to be accountable for this kind of mm. a, a run we, we, we had at the mo I mean at the moment. Mm. Because you could see the quality we had, the players yeah. we, we, we had when you've got guys playing. Gamma overseas, and them and overseas. And so guys. they need to, to, to flourish in the in the World Cup. So look at it now. They are 31, 32. In the next World Cup, they are 36. It's only Ronaldo can go and play 37 because reputation kills him there. Yeah. So at 37, still going to qualify for World Cup and play. It's a plus for you. So this generation we are talking about now, we are already phased out for the 2026 yeah. World Cup. It's pity, but that's, that's the reality. That's but reason. what we can do now is these next two games with the new coach came in, Mapeza, of which I have so much trust in him, yeah. is going to use this, these two games to sharpen his swords for AFCON. Then we, we go a little bit harder yeah. and go all the way to at least this generation can enjoy the moment. Not like we're going there and come back again after group stages. Yeah. No, we just need to go full out and give our all and try to go beyond group stages. And from there, we create a fair tale. Then we go there as, as it is. But for now, we cannot. Get, I mean, knocked out in the group yeah. stages. Mm -hmm. We need to be better because that's the only way we're going to redeem our, our people's yeah. souls who actually lost interest in us. Yeah. Now, also, you have been in South Africa for many, many years. Bafana uh, Bafana are sort of taking a different trajectory with the, with the new coach. Um, you know, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, you're a senior guy now. You can speak authoritatively about these things. What do you make of Bafana Bafana now, the coach? The direction is taking of playing so-called young players. Is this the right way to go? For me, I, 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 I said yes. For me personally, me without consulting anyone, South Africa, South Africa, they have taken a, a a good turn in terms of preparing because the group of players they're preparing now. We are talking about group of players who are gonna play the next two World Cup, besides this one, mm -hmm. this coming one. The next two World Cups, because if you could see the number, the, the, uh, I mean the years, some of them, the 20, 21, 22, you know, it's, they still have eight years. This is another two World Cups. So they, it, it starts to like, look like a joke to everybody, because everybody wants Habo Banbani, they are hot in property in the country. But the, the technical team came in, they look at the bigger picture. Mm. You don't need to have a player who is an instant today, three years down the line, he's out. But you need a national team player. When I'm talking about a national team player, even he doesn't play well to his team, he's still going to come to national team mm. because he is a national team player. So when you're a national team player, you need to keep the group together for a long period. So that's actually how they're doing it. You look at the Ghana, are you a brothers and them? When they came on, uh, on board, remember they were here, 2010 World Cup. Mm. How old were they? Because now I think AU is, should be... 32, if I'm not mistaken, you understand, 32, 33. So 11 years back, they, they were what, 19, mm. 20 years. Then they carry them now. They're actually gunning to go for their last World Cup. Yeah. You understand? So Mo Salah, that Egypt, when they couldn't qualify, I mean, that, um, you remember the Egypt dominated those days? For a number of years. Yeah. Yes. Then when that squad was aging, they couldn't even qualify then they dismantled everything they brought salas and them when they were under 20 under 23 to finish up the the afghan qualifiers then when they finish up that's the the egypt we are talking about today qualified for the first world cup if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. so it tells you that this is the approach then you go to cameroon they do the same thing you go to brazil they do the same thing you go to spain they do the same thing you go to france England, let look at England now. Yeah. So it, it tells you like, not like those who are not selected, they're bad players, but the technical team, they're 
building a monster which is going to be enjoyed for the for the longer period yeah. you remember we're talking about success to keep it within you it's something you prepare like this like it's Katsande. i need to replace Katsande in four years time where is my target oh this one john start monitoring john from far even if you sign him you loan him casamero they loan him to portugal but they still want to bring him the then road. they brought him when it's, it's, it's needed look he's the the, 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 the important so because you, that's a planning. You, when you want to replace somebody, you cannot just say, go. We can find one. No. It's a, it's a groove changing like this. Without people noticing, like, oh, that's a change. You understand? But it looks like Kazan is not there anymore. Look, hey, guys, we can you find a destroyer. Mm -hmm. You know? But it needs to be just like a tweak, just a change. It goes with the planning. So the route Bafana took, for me personally, I really love it because it's going to make the country happy. It's yeah. going to make a lot of people see, especially the Southern Africans, like, okay, Bafana, Bafana, they changed, but they're doing well. Because these young kids, they're energetic. They want to make their name. I'm telling you, wherever they are, they're working very hard to say, I don't want to disappoint the coach not to be selected. So, because they want to make their name. They don't have names at the moment. Mm. But they try to test it. Ah, they go slow. Where are you? They are humble. <laughs> but these kids, they, they, my friend, you, you are playing with one of them, yes, Kukune. You, you've seen Mart. them. Yeah, mm. you've seen them. Yeah, you can see Mar You can see that the, the kid is hungry. He's angry. Yeah. To make he, himself a name. We, then we tell him, like, you know what? You can be better. If you do A, B, C, D, then he takes the advice. Then you can move it forward. Mm. So for, uh, for, for such thing like that, I hope many national teams can copy from there. Mm. Um, another <laughs> interesting thing, uh, moving along. You are here in Skukuni now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, from a distance, they look. The team looks. Uh, you know, the staff looks to be a little bit organised. Um, um, people are asking the question now. Uh, you know, we like retiring players. Mm. Uh, how long can we still go? Because uh, you know, like you have seen, the younger guys are coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and I'm what are you gonna do when you when you ultimately decide to hang your boots? Okay, I'm I'm still looking good for my age. <laughs> I'm still feeling like I can compete. 85 has never looked this good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still looking good. So I feel like, for me, personal life, I've, if I'm not counting this season, I have one more season. But if I'm to counting both, I'll say I have two, I have two seasons. Mm -hmm. Then I'll say, you okay, say what? Let me take a back seat. Not by not playing, but I feel like, okay, I've played. Let me just sit in, 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 in a back seat a little bit. But for now, my leg is still carrying me, and I'm going to go for this season and the next season. So I'm basically, I'm retiring 2023 20, in June. But how is it here? It's Are you having fun? Are you enjoying it? Very nice. I'm enjoying it, and I'm okay. Because uh, my lifestyle never changed. I'm still the, the village, you know, the Bosnian Boga people knows. Mm. Um, cappuccino guy, I never be seen in fancy restaurant. I never be seen in fancy nightclub. So... My life is still okay. I'm still moving every day uh, as normal, and I'm very grateful for Skokune to give me opportunity to be there when they are faced to be in the PSL. It's also history on its own, whereby when they look back 10 years down the line, when they are huge, like other huge brands in the, in the, in the country, they're going to talk about who, sta who started that uh, Skokune, who mm -hmm. started that case at just 11. Mm -hmm. You know, those names are still there. Mm -hmm. So my name is going to be there. Mm -hmm. So. I'm pushing very hard and um, I'm competing with these younger ones and uh, I need to leave my mark. When I compete, I'm a businessman in the football. Mm. I'm nice out, but when I'm inside, I'm still the same guy who is aggressive like a lion. A lion never be friendly, is always aggressive. So <laughs> I have two years, to be honest. I, if I, they have to beg me to go further yeah. than that, but for me personally, what I feel. Two years, yeah. yeah. You have always had this um, tag attached to you of being a rough player. Yeah. Yeah. And he's kicking people and what, what, what. <laughs> no. Was it fair? No, 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 that's not fair because, <laughs> you know, the thing is, people, people got mistaken. Because if I say I'm a rough player, I should have been, my, my, my body is written with main red cards. Uh -huh. I don't have a red card. I only had a red card one in case I just one red card. Uh -huh. You understand? But like I said, a lion... A lion will never be friendly. A lion is very aggressive. Go close to a lion. 
it will never treat you good. Mm. Doesn't mean it's rough, but it's just aggressive. Mm. You understand? So I'll be doing my job. As a defensive midfielder, I need to be aggressive. I need to be that guy, the difficult guy. When I come close, because that's the only way I'm going to regain position. If I'm going to be on, I cannot come with a Bible like I'm going to yeah, yeah. mark you with the Bible. No. Uh, yeah. I have to bring the, the A game. When I, I come to you, you think now nah, he's coming or he's staying, you know. So from there, people mistaken, especially if you support the opposition team, I'm not in your team. You begin to say, ah, Katsani, man, you get up, Katsani. But those who support my team, they say, no, Katsani is the man. He's doing his job. He's the man, yeah. So, it's, but... In, it's a matter of perceptions. Exactly, but that's what, that's, that's the, what we need in the community to make it the, a, a nice, that's why they call it the most beautiful game football, because it raises the emotions, that, that uh, argument, then you can just see... The day passes just like that. You could see even this, during Corona when there was no football, there was no life. Yeah. But when football came back, when football came back, now people are saying, okay, okay, we interact again. Oh, no, your team will say, what, what. Mm -hmm. Then that argument comes back. The people tend to forget like we are living in a pandemic, mm -hmm. a, a days where everything is stressful. So that's the most beautiful game. So wh wh whenever we do whatever we do, people call it in any way. It's good because it creates argument in the in the in, in the society we give them what to talk about mm -hmm. now let's move away from football uh, we are used to trending these days hey. uh, yeah social media activity is quite heavy yeah, yeah. Uh, firstly kitoko makasi boso yeah 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 in 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 a, in a nutshell what does it mean kitoko uh, makasi because i have a friend who is um a congolese Mm -hmm. he, he plays a uh, music in Zim. Uh, he's, he's actually he's in original is from DRC, but he came when those there was there was war in, mm -hmm. in DRC. He came relocating. So he's a musician. So we talk. We sp I speak with him in his language because I like learning people's languages. So Kitoko Makas Kitoko is nice. You understand? Kitoko Makas uh, everything is nice. You know, so boss Yamboka, boss, you know the meaning yeah. of boss. Yamboka is country, it's yeah. boss of the country. Yeah. So I call myself boss of the country, everything is good. Then when people say boss Yamboka, then I just joke with them, ah, the only boss left in the country after Syria Ramaphosa president. <laughs> then we just laugh about it, you know. But it's a matter of trying to create a content whereby when, when I hit a rock bottom of my life, I don't need to put a caption like, you know what, everything is going to be fine, whatever. Social media doesn't give you doesn't give you any lecture, any sympathy, you know. Social media is for socializing. So I don't need people to know that I'm sad, I'm too happy. Or that's when I just created that line mm. so that I don't open up my life too much. Just bossy and book. Even sometimes maybe I'm bleeding inside my heart. I'm, I'm actually stressed to, to, to the bone. Mm. But I put that caption, nobody knows. Because sometimes you don't need to predict your life on social media, to live your life on social media, to say, the caption, because can, I can predict you how you're feeling today by your caption. You understand? Mm. Happy bed. So in that situation, I just created that way, like a boss young book. I can see lots of people are, are like buying it, into yeah. it. Then yeah. I said, oh, okay, that's very nice. And uh, the pictures, I mean, it must take a lot of effort. No, no. no. Every day you are there. No, I no, saw no. this morning you, with, the, with, the, with the head. Actually, you have the head with you here, yeah. you know. You came up with the head, you shoot the picture with this hard head for construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, um, you know, you have got those funny videos that you do. Yeah. Why are, are, you, are you trying to inspire people? Why are you doing all these things on social media? No, no, the, the thing I did in social media, because at first I was like, okay, I'm a soccer player, I need to stay behind. But you realize that like, you need to, 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 to reach out to people. People need to see who is their player don't hold back because it's bad because it's feel like i ah, know you distance yourself from the community so the dances was more like during the pandemic days things were tough mm. so we just wanted to give people the laughter side of life then from there people were like okay Cassandra, what is this what is you are bringing today because you're uh, letting them forget about the dark cloud in front of us which was the pandemic and by that time it was so scary for everyone you know then you just decide, to let, let me do this. I you do a catwalk, you know, that kind of thing. Then, okay, like, I still like, okay, people are getting used to nice things. Then you, big, you bring baggy, baggy things 
big pants, big shirts, you know, big shoe. People creating, some people creating even memes like that. <laughs> it's good because you creating, because at some point you could see that my social media before lockdown, maybe I had 100,000 100, followers on Twitter. If now, you can see now I'm uh, close to 350,000. Mm -hmm. So it sees how people interact with this. Then people need to know this is, this is the side of you. Then from there, because I, I like fashion because my father who, who likes fashion, you know, that's why my mom used to be complaining about it. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, my father likes to dress up nicely. Yeah. Uh, about the construction, yes, I'm into construction. I have a, a company called Gatsanda Partners. Me and my family, we are, we are, we are running that and uh, we are hoping to think outside the box in terms mm -hmm. of football. So that's why you see me taking a picture with the, my helmet. Obviously, I'll be going to a site mm. to see where my What's people cool. are be working. I have a team. I cannot say my workers. That's, 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 that's the disrespect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are a team. We, I'll be going to the site to see how we, we're going to execute the game plan for that particular day. And also about fashion. I'm into fashion because I, I'm also preparing something with my team on the fashion side. Yeah, yeah, we, you're we, launching your we, own we, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're bringing uh, the real Bossi Amboka. I think it, by God's grace, by January, yeah. everything is going to be start running. Everything is going to start making sense because the response we get from people. Yeah. And I tell them, like, you know what? We're going to bring it to people. So we really want the Bossi Amboka fans to also support the, the business. Support your own, your yeah, own yeah. brother. Whether you're in South Africa, whether you're in, South Africa, in Zimbabwe, whether you're in Botswana, Mozambique, Angola, So Zambia. it will be full on clothing? Yes, we, we started with, with clothing, then we, we grow as we, we yeah. see the, 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 the response from people, where we can improve, what we can do. But it will be, we'll be selling online. Mm -hmm. So I have the team which are also planning yeah. everything. Then we just gonna do, and what we're gonna promise is gonna give the people good product with a nice and affordable price. Mm -hmm. But in construction, they just need to to help me. But one day when I'm finished with something, I'm gonna I'm cooking again. Yeah, you'll be the first one to know. Yeah, yeah. Like okay, this is what we are also cool. doing. Yeah. But for now, we're busy with construction and mm -hmm. uh, fashion. So now the two main things for you, um, I guess, is also part of starting to prepare for life after play now exactly. um, um, uh, it's going fashion and construction uh, construction yeah and coaching uh, yeah, 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 yeah 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 because you, even you really if want to go into coaching yeah. you also spoke about having ambitions of coaching the warriors you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm gonna coach my warriors my warriors because i feel like without them my case i just was not gonna see me mm. so w without case i i wasn't gonna be here today we we're celebrated uh, a player so i i i need to give back so when national team jute comes, maybe who knows, maybe I'll, I'll be the one taking them to World Cup 20, 26, mm. who knows, 23, who knows. Mm. But it's, it's about your self-belief, like I can do it, who knows. So, but for now I need to wrap up my, my playing days in style, whereby when I play, I need to leave people where one day it's gonna be like, hey, we once had this guy. So I'm just going there, not just, I'm just not just going there in a wheelchair. I'm just giving my all, finishing what the sweetness of football in my body. Mm. By the time I leave the game, I don't regret like, you know what, I should add uh, one more game or two games to play. I'll be like, okay, I finish up everything. Then I take my boots and I put there. Then I start with my full-time construction mm. and uh, my fashion. And my fashion is, is also going to, to, to to construction because if you could see this is my my work suit yeah you understand I, and my helmet so it goes with fashion we can also do you in you look nice <laughs> in your own own vision if yeah. you feel like okay we i'm gonna going to a important meeting please can now conduct a bossy and Boca for we can do that for we you can we can it, yeah. we can dress you for that particular event just tell us your colors what you want mm. then you can provide so this is what it's, it goes with passion mm. what you want what you want to do mm. so this is exactly where, where I want to be. And uh, modeling, um, as you know, you are an amateur modeling now, if I may say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do, you, do you want to consider doing it maybe on a more professional basis? Yeah, I can do that after football. Then I'm going to just, I just want to be an influencer. 
<laughs> yeah, so I, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Because my wife always say that you, you, you're capable of doing it. Even many people say that you can do it. That's what because I'm asking. sometimes she asks, where do you get that confidence from? Because she know me like, ah, when I'm the outside, I'm very shy, you know. And yeah, I hardly make eye contact. Mm -hmm. But when I'm in the camera, I have to be like, okay. Yeah. Do your thing. Yeah. It's just two seconds. The post. No, nobody's going to say, nah, he's shy. Yeah. But wait for me 30 seconds. That's when I'm going to like, <laughs> You know, so it's always like that. So I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be busy when I'm done because I feel like I can, I can mix with a, a lot of things. Um, but uh, I'm happy and um, I'm proud of myself. Mm. And uh, I've built my brand as a person, as an individual. And the, my brand is going to look after me for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I need to do is to maintain my brand and to keep my brand relevant. And uh, yeah, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to help me go, uh, growing. And also, uh, I'm building this thing. It's not only for me. I'm building for long term. Yeah. My kids, when they, they are finished with their school, if they feel like they want to join me in their construction, it's okay. If they feel they want to take their path, it's okay. I'm going to try to empower them the, with the little I can. And uh, I don't want them to live the way I, 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 I lived. I just wanted to give them a better life than me. So, yeah, I have a lot to do. So that's mm. why to get hold of me if you want the interview. <laughs> it's difficult. It was not easier. It's difficult because <laughs> not like I don't want to. I'm, I'm a very honest person because I know your platform. People are going to also, okay, what does it do? when? Because you've got so much huge following uh, on your YouTube on your, your, your Twitter. So people are going to also, okay, you engage Gatsando, what does it engage? Because there, there are lots of subscribers of yours. Yeah. Who's going to be like, what if I'm going to get people buys from my, my uh, Bossy and Boga uh, clothing line or wants me to, to do some work in their houses? They are within you. Talking about you being difficult to get all of. People will actually be surprised to find out this interview is happening at night. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's exactly. the crazy thing about this thing. Exactly. You know, we tried and tried and tried, but ultimately we got you, you know. No, you had to t touch my neck. Yeah, yeah. Because I was almost a jika jig. Uh, yeah. But uh, you see, <laughs> you, you touched me, you said, no, 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 no. When you are just finishing, I'm waiting for you. Yeah. So, but uh, it's, 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 it's good and, um, you know, I'm very, very grateful for, you, for, for your time to bring mm. me here so that I engage with people. Because yeah. the most important thing about everything is reach out to people because there are many people who try to understand because there are many people who, who, who actually subscribe on it, but maybe I'm going to inspire one or two yeah, people out true. there. That's the most important thing, you know. So that's exactly what we need in life, so that when somebody is losing hope, then they know that Kassan was a head boy. I was a head boy, eh? Yeah. Head boy. Yeah. I was a head boy looking after the cows. When uh, the cows, uh, uh, the tummies are full, that's when we put the goalposts or the bricks or stones, then we play football. Yeah. Sometimes the cows, they're just going to get bored by sleeping. They get out and go to somebody's field. Yeah. They chow the fuel like this. Yeah. You understand? You must know that you're in hot soup. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the cows are full. That's when you start bathing on the river. You're looking in the left, right, same life mm. where somebody comes. You understand? So it, it's, it's not like everything was roses for me. It was tough. It was tough because my sister, got pregnant when she was um she was pregnant when she was uh i think 14. Mm. 14. then she gave birth when she was 15. you understand then she's older than me mm. by two years you understand then he, the guy refused to look after the baby then mm. i had to leave junior football to go play with uh, uh, Sunday League people so that I get a little bit of money and go buy nappies. Not nowadays, they are Makimbis. They yeah. will buy, you know. <laughs> they eat those nappies and wash them and put them you on put the them line. Back, yeah. Now we need soap every day. Mm -hmm. So it, I was a guy who got responsibilities when we were young. And if you could see that, that boy, I don't know if you can see, check on him on social media. His name is Kelvin. Kelvin Katsandi. We, we, yeah, yeah he's, he's my son. Mm. Nobody gonna come and claim him because I look no. after him until today. Uh, he has his yeah. business. He's my son, yeah. so I call him my son because lots of people say, "Ah, oh, Katsan, how old are you?" When you call this guy a son, <laughs> you know, we create that. That's when you yeah. also like interacting with people. You give them different tens. Of, so back to the situation, I had the responsibility when I was young, because now I need to the money I get instead of buying myself a pair of shoes, 
I'm thinking of buying sugar. Mm. You understand? At the age of 18, at the mm. age of 14. Yeah. You understand? I need to buy, pay school fees whilst I'm still going to school. You understand? So it's difficult. So, it's I, right so it, my life was not okay so, to be like, it's too nice. Um, we didn't have a TV. When my dad died, you know, we had a black and white TV and from 1996 to 2006, we didn't have a TV. We had to, if I had to go watch football or movie, I had to go to somebody's house. You go, maybe the, today they are not in a good mood. They so just feel like, uh, uh, we are about to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, my life was, I'm laughing because I'm looking back like, oh, yeah. ah, Zine, yo. things which I've said as I'm telling you. So I might inspire somebody mm. from far, like, you know what, don't give up on your dreams. Sometimes you might sleep with the hunger without eating tonight. But it doesn't mean that three yeah. years down the line is going to be like the same. No, who mm. knows? Tomorrow maybe is your breakthrough. So just stay positive and keep on looking on your dreams. Now, as we, we wrap up, um, as, as somebody who's, who's on social media a lot, social media can be a very, very yeah, difficult place. It um, is. How do you deal with trolls? Well, sometimes, I mean, like you say, you enjoy yeah. putting your stuff there, yeah. you're having fun, yeah. then some idiot comes and yeah. you know, just want to spoil the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, how do you deal with the negativity yeah. that is so much out there on social media? I think I developed a thick skin. Uh, like I told you, I don't care. Because, you know, I always give people examples. Like, you know, as human beings, we tend to focus on negativity more. Because look at, if I put a picture, there is, um, let's say, 100 comments. There's 97 good comments. There are three bad comments. You know what you do as a human being? You focus on this three. You want to see this guy, how many people follow this guy? What does he do? You forget about 97 people who loves you. Mm -hmm. Focus on those ones. Those are the important people to you. Those, because those ones who are negative, it's part and, it's part, and part of your fame. Because they're going to retweet and retweet and tell ban, 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 this, 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 come all of you here. We interact here. We are a family. So social media, when you are there, you need to have a thick skin. Don't be somebody who's sensitive because you won't last. Yeah. Because I've seen even many, many people in our field, these soccer players, they become emotional. Then they, they let it out to the fans, of which it's not supposed to be like that. Because you know what? If a fan came and said, no, Katsande, where's the Lisa? Yeah, what do this? You cost us a penalty, for example. If I respond to him, that's what he wants. And he's, he's becoming the, the engineer of everything. Yeah, yeah. You understand? I responded, ah, what, what, who are you Go to hell? What, what, what? I'm giving the attention he wanted. You know what I'm going to do? Because I, I, I play. Tomorrow I'm going to go play and do the same mistake. Or three years down the line, I'll do the same mistake. You know what he's going to do? He's going to revisit that screenshot, I mean, that incident. He screenshot and said, I told you this guy, he doesn't know football. You understand? Do I need to fight that person again? Mm -hmm. But for me, I end up getting people even inboxing me like, you know what? I don't know, Willard, where do you get your strength, your courage? You don't respond to anybody. There can be 1,000 comments. I don't respond to negative comments. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I bump into a good comment, I just respond, oh, I'll retreat or hi, 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 we'll find. You respond, especially in social media. You won't even, you won't even win the, the social media yeah. battle. Yeah. Because you just need to treat it OK. They say this. But me, I, I, I think different. So you need to be strong. And your family also doesn't need to be sensitive because if they're sensitive, it's going to be difficult. Mm. Um, in closing, recently you, nearly, you shocked all of us uh, with pictures of blood everywhere and mm. we are attacked on the road and all those kinds. Yeah. That must have been a, yeah. a very, very, very scary uh, no, it, experience. It was a scary experience and I need to educate people through this platform because obviously you have different races in this platform. Because when I start talking about it, it's, it's too sensitive. Mm. Because I was coming from a defeat against the um, cheaper, and I'm all stressed. I'm driving my car nicely, and I was below 40, and it was only one lane. The guy just came on the side of the lane. He, show, he showed me middle finger. I didn't do anything. Mm. OK, then I, I accelerated going forward. Then he, because I didn't give him attention he wanted. Then he came in front of me. Then he, 
He's driving. Then he pulled the brakes, totally stopped. Then I had to go to him. Then I had to put the brakes. Okay, I went to Yellow Lane. I went up. Then he, he, he came again. Now he's now doing zigzag so that I don't go any, any lane. I'm still driving. When the robot was red, he just parked this queue. Like when the police are chasing you, maybe you're driving mm. first diagonal the car. Then just came, he came, he started punching the window until the window broke the driver's window. They start punching my head. And you know, with this, the funny part of our seatbelt, when you, you was react so fast, you. it tights you. <laughs> now I need to close my face. I need to take out the seatbelt because it's keep on punching my head and the bottles are in, in the hair. Start punching the, the head. Mm. Then he, I went out, outside the, the vehicle because I thought, no, maybe I had a knife or a gun. Then I went on the side of the vehicle. He kept on kicking now the, the car. Then you could ask yourself, did I do anything wrong? No. What is it? Is it racial? I don't know. Because I didn't do anything. If I was speeding, or if I bump you, even if I bump your car, if I show a remorse, like, you know what? I'm very sorry. You know what? We park on the side, we talk, we call police, we do everything we do. Then insurance pays and so forth and so forth. Mm. But I didn't do anything. Then just come on the car and punching my, 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 my car, my head. Now I'm outside the car, he's still kicking the car. Are you jealous that I'm driving a better car than yours? Is it racial? Mm. What is it? And I said, so it's painful how things are. Then from there, he ran away and he got the number plate. Then he, traced the, then he got arrested. So now there's a court case on the 27th. It was on the 29th last month. Then they moved it to 27th mm. this, this, this month. So we hopefully... We're gonna get justice. You must be punished, yeah. Yeah, because you cannot do that to the no, people. Because no, we, we have seen it with um, that is trend. He assault people, then he goes and begs them to withdraw cases. So this is the fifth or fourth, fourth or fifth uh, case. So he's begging me to withdraw. Then I told him, like, it's a, if it's about man, I can fix my car. I want justice. Mm -hmm. You cannot do that. I didn't do anything to you. No, no, of course. Because if I fought, I fought with you, then okay, you overpower me. But I didn't do anything. Understand? Because it's not nice. If I do that, what about my followers on, on Twitter, social media? Mm. They heard that Katsande was bought outside the court to be settled. Mm. Of which I have, I have so much volume to represent other people that these things doesn't need to happen in our society. Regardless, you're angry, angry like what? But this thing mustn't happen. Because mm. I, I can get money, but I can't do that. I can't. I can't be bought by money because of something I didn't do. Then when you go to arrest, says, ah, sorry, I have a child, don't know, there's a lot of people happening in my, in my life. They said, you don't know what's happening in my life. Yeah. You don't know the next person, what's happening in, in their life. Treat a human being as a human being. Treat the, the way you want to be treated, or treat the next human being. You cannot just do that to anybody. Mm. I didn't do anything to you. Mm. If you are not happy with anything, how many times don't you ever have experience of people, you have a misunderstanding on the road, then you, you just do this and this, then you keep going where you are going. To follow and to punch. And somebody's out of the car. Come punch me, then outside the car. You still punch the, the, the car. What exactly? Do you know me? You don't know me. That's a technique, because if it's fourth, fifth times, that's not yeah, a mistake. No, it's a, a technique. Yeah. You think maybe money can talk for you. No, that's not it. Um, we are happy that uh, you are not seriously hurt. Uh, the pictures were, were horrific. Mm -hmm. We are happy that you are good. And uh, in closing, uh, I just want to say that uh, Kitoko Makasi. Yes, yes. Boss yes. Yamboka. The only boss left. Uh, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, like we touched on earlier, it was not easy uh, to, get, to get all of you. Mm -hmm. But uh, finally this interview has happened. We, we believe that uh, we must tell each other stories, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, this is just our part also to look back at what has been a highly successful career. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we honor you and uh, we will we, still be lucky to have you for the next two years before you retire. And uh, I wish you very well with your new team, Skukun United. Uh, hopefully you can help them to stay in the league. Someone said to me, no, we need experience, you know. We need experience. <laughs> no, we, 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 we have an aim to not to just stay in the league. We want to try to take the team to play top eight. Because mm. top eight is a, is a quick tournament. If you had a good preseason, you're going to end up winning it. So, yeah. Mm.
but thank you very much and I really appreciate for having me and I'm very very grateful for the part um, to be part and part of this uh, this show I hope when I retire when I have my testimonial match I'm gonna have this kind of uh, uh, interview again you'll never know to you'll say see. goodbye to my people yeah. there's no Willard Katsandi footballer is Willard Katsandi businessman yeah yeah full-time businessman mm. yeah my brother Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. I really appreciate it.